Hi, welcome back to my channel. Huh? Wait, before you react, please let me explain. I know this is not mine. These clothes were owned by Naruto, and he is our guest for today. Since he is not wearing this anymore and he's off again now, I borrowed it. Oh, Boruto? Don't worry about him. I told him already that I need to wear this for a while. Where I am now? Oh, I'm going out for a training with Naruto and I'm waiting for him. Anyway, in our previous lesson, we learned about the past tense of regular verbs. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end part of my videos all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat work. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Number one, spell the word magistry. A magistry is a civil officer or lay judge who administers the law, especially one who conducts a court that deals with minor offenses and holds preliminary hearings for more serious ones. Our example here is Magistry Kim Yun Oh, played by Lee Jun Ji in the Korean novella entitled Arang and the Magistry. He picked up Arang, played by Shin Min Ah, with one hand while riding a horse. Can you do that? Anyway, do you also like Korean novella? Comment your answer down below. 2. Spell the word transparent. Transparent means allowing light to pass through so that objects behind can be distinctly seen. Can be a material or article. Anyway, we have many beautiful transparent bodies of water here in the Philippines, just like Boracay. Have you been there? If you do, please leave a comment down below and share to us your experience. 3. Spell the word significance. Significance means the quality of being worthy of attention or importance. Just like our example here, it is really sad to know when somebody doesn't know your significance. <laughs> 4. Spell conference. Conference means a formal meeting for discussion, just like our examples here. However, nowadays, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, conferences usually happen via zoom application hello there and then finally number five spell the word spectacular spectacular means beautiful in a dramatic and eye-catching way example we saw a spectacular mountain scenery during our trip to sagada philippines now let's check your work here's the answer key for our spelling Done checking, then let's move on. Let's start with our discussion. I'm going to show you two sentences. You're going to read and observe them very carefully, okay? So first one, Naruto's teachers teach him new techniques. Second one, Jiraiya thought Naruto how to do Rasengan. What did you observe in our two sentences? Right, the word teach changed to thought. Sometimes to transform a verb to its past tense, we need to change its spelling. Verbs that need to change spelling to transform it into its past tense are called irregular verbs. They are called as irregular verbs because you cannot just add ed to them to change them to its past form. 
again, you need to change their spelling to transform them into their past form. Second example, Naruto and Iroka eat ramen. Naruto ate ramen. It changes to ate. Meanwhile, as most irregular verbs change spelling to transform to its past form, there are also some irregular verbs which retain in their base form, even if you change them to their past form. For example, the past tense of the word cast is also cast. Theme 7, cast their summoning techniques. Another example, the past tense of the word cut is also cut. Sakura cut her hair. Now, to enrich your vocabulary about verbs and their simple past tense, here's a list of examples. Again, we will only focus for simple past tense in this video. The past tense of abide is abode, arise, awoke, awake, awoke. For be verbs, the past tense of is is was, the past tense of are is where, bear, bore, past tense of beat is also beat. Beget, begot, begin, began, bend, bent, berave, bereft, beseech, besought, bespeak, bespoke, bestride, bestrode, bet is also bet, bid, bait, did, bind, bound, bite, bit, bleed, bled, blow, blue, past tense of break is broke. Breed, bread, ring, broth, broadcast, broadcast, build, built, burn, burnt, burst, also burst, buy, bought, can, could, cast, cast, catch, caught, choose, chose, clean, clung, hum, came, cost, cost, creep, crept, cut, cut, deal, Dealt, dig, dug, do, did, draw, drew, dream, dreamt, drink, drunk, drive, drove, dwell, dwelt, eat, ate, fall, fell, feed, fed, feel, felt, fight, fought, find, found, flee, fled, fly, flew, forbid, forbade. Forecast, also forecast. Forget, forgot. Forsake, forsook. Freeze, froze. Get, got. Give, gave. Go, went. The past tense of grind is ground. Grow, grew. Hung, hung. Have, had. Hear, heard. Hide, hid. Past tense of hit, also hit. Hold, Held, hurt, hurt, keep, kept, kneel, knelt, no, knew, laid, is the past tense of lay, lead, led, lean, lent, leap, leapt, learn, learnt, leave, left, lend, lent, let, let, simple past tense fly is lay, loose, lost, make, made, mean, meant, meet, met, pay, paid, put, also put, read, read, rent, rent, read, read, ride, road, ring, rang, rise, rose, ran, ran, say, said, see, saw, seek, sought, sell, sold, send, sent, Set is also set. Shake, shook. Past tense of shed is also shed. Shine, shown. Shoot, shot. Show, showed. Shrink, shrunk. Shrive, shrove. Shot, shot. Sing, sang. Sink, sank. Sit, sat. Slay, slew. Sleep, slept. Slide, slid. Sling, slung. Slink, Slump, sleep, also sleep, smell, smelt, smite, smoke, speak, spoke, speed, 
sped spend spent spin spun speed spat split also split spoil spoilt spread spread spring sprung stand stood steel stole stick stock sting stung stink stank strike struck string strong strive strove swear swore sweep swept swim swum swing swung the simple past tense of take is took teach thought tear tore tell told think thought throw through thrust is also thrust thread trod wake woke wear wore weave wove whip wept win won wind wound ring wrong and finally the simple past tense of write is wrote remember in order to transform irregular verbs to their past tense you need to change their spelling take note that some irregular verbs retain their base form even though you change them to their past tense for you to know the simple past form of a word you really need to enrich your vocabulary i hope that the 156 examples i gave you earlier help you enrich your vocabulary about the simple past tense of irregular verbs let's get this going i'm going to read the sentence then you're going to choose the appropriate irregular verb in the parentheses to complete the sentence one my mother gave got me an increase in allowance did you answer gave very good that is correct two the dog ate dug the ground to get its bone did you answer dog very good that is correct three pacquiao and batise bought fought for the championship belt did you answer fought well done that is correct four the chef hung froze the beef in the freezer to prolong its freshness did you answer froze wow that's correct you're doing good and then finally number five my english teacher thought took me how to change irregular verbs to its past tense did you answer thought excellent that's correct now let's see if you really learned in all today's lesson let's have a sip work I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For our today's seat work, you need to complete the table below. Write the past or present form of the verb depending on what is needed. I'll give you a minute to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. You may start. Time's up! Let's check your work! Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know how to change an irregular verb to its past form. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people.
Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!